वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ मैकेनिक्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन साइंटोइड ऑफ कंपोजिट एरिया सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज द एग्जांपल गिवन कैलकुलेट सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑफ टी सेक्शन हैविंग फ्लैंच डायमेंशन 20 बाय 2 सेंटीमीटर एंड वेब 30 by 2 cm. So position of center of gravity on the figure. So here we have given a T section and the dimension of wave and flange are given. So let us draw the figure first. So here the figure has been drawn. This is the flange having dimension 20 cm by 2 cm. We know that in such section the horizontal portion is flange and this vertical portion is wave and the dimension of wave given in the problem is 30 cm by 2 cm so this is the figure given to us now uh, let us follow this step to solve such problem as we have discussed the first step is to determine axis of symmetry is available or not so from the figure we can see the figure is symmetric about the axis parallel to y so let us identify this axis so axis of symmetry is parallel to y axis so we can say x bar will be directly available so in this figure axis of symmetry is parallel to y axis so x bar can be directly available x bar will be equal to the dimension of figure along x axis divided by 2 so it is 20 cm divided by 2 that is 10 cm so x bar has been worked out now let us try to work out y bar okay now the second step is to determine the axis of reference so here first of all we have to fix the, the axis of reference so these are the axis of reference now the third step in, in third step we will divide the figure in simple geometric shapes so here we can divide this into two simple rectangulars this is rectangle 1 and this is rectangle 2 Now let us write the equation to work out y bar. So this is the equation for y bar. Here e one is the area of this first part, e two is area of this second part, and y one and y two are the distance of centroid of part one and part two from x axis. This point is the centroid of first figure. and this is the centroid of second figure so now let us work out e1 e2 and y1 y2 let us start with e1 e1 is area of this rectangle we know that area of rectangle that is equal to length into width so uh, this is the l and this is b same way we can work out area of this rectangle also which is having length 30 cm and width 2 cm so let us calculate e1 and e2 so this is the area e1 and e2 now let us work out y1 and y2 y1 is the distance of centroid of first figure from x axis so it will be this much distance we know that this distance is 30 and this centroid is at half of this width so y1 will be y1 is 31 cm and y2 is the centroid of second figure from x axis so it will be half of 30 now equate all the value in this equation to get y bar so here all value of e1 e2 and y1 y2 are equated and finally y bar has been obtained as 
40 cm. Now let us mark x bar and y bar means the center of gravity of T section in the figure. So this point is the centroid of figure which is at 10 cm from reference y axis and 21.4 cm from reference y axis. So this way we can solve such problems. So here is the similar type of problem. The dimension of wave and flange are given. Uh, from the figure we can see it is symmetrical about one axis also. So try to solve this problem. So if you find any problem, any difficulty, please write in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. Thank you. Thank you very much.